More than 100,000 poured into the state fairgrounds today, here to take in the last day of activities. Once again, concessionaires and everyone else here is reasonably happy. In spite of the floods, an accident on one of the rides, and the cooler weather, the fair once again has attracted more than a million people. Of course, more than a million people means millions of dollars will have changed hands here. But officials in Minnesota say they don't really like to brag about attendance anymore. They feel they're pretty much beyond that stage. It used to be really important uh, to keep accurate attendance figures in the first when the fair was first starting because um, concessionaires and attraction people like the Midway and uh, uh, different acts would choose the fairs they would come to on the basis of how many people were going to be at the fair. And so obviously the larger fairs got the best attractions. Um, the Minnesota State Fair is now established as one of the top fairs in the country. Minnesota's fair ranks about third in the nation in size. Not bad for a fair that opens only 12 days a year. You can compare that to Ohio and Texas who attract more, but then they stay open about three weeks a year. Officials hope to get 1.3 million people through the gates before the fair closes tonight. Tomorrow, the big cleanup operation starts, and can you believe right after that, they'll begin working on next year's fair. Lou Harvin, Channel 5 Eyewitness News.